Hello guys, Dr. Bass here from the Endless Fair From, and uh, I decided today to uh, make a short video showing you the magnetic field of a QS205 50H hub motor. And uh, by the way, to give you an idea of what kind of magnetic field exists between the stator and the rotor. So I just received, uh, I'm not sure if you saw my last video, I just received this uh, new uh, Gauss and Tesla meter, uh, made in China as well, uh, cost about $200 Canadian, but it is supposed to be accurate uh, and uh, have a really small probe as you can see here, so it can go on uh, really uh, small places. And there's a rule here. I will not describe it as I described already it in the other video. So I have a power supply here. This is 0 to 10 amp, 0 to 100 volt. I will use it to power through these wires, the phase wires here of this stator. And we'll measure the magnetic field at 10 amp to give you an idea of what kind of magnetic field exists relative to the magnetic field of these magnets here. Okay, so let's measure the magnetic field here of these magnets. I will measure uh, on the center but as you can see here on the web this is a good idea of the magnetic field on the uh, stator and the rotor so you see there's a lot of line on the edges of the uh, magnet here but it seems to be quite the same on the magnet uh, well less line on the center but this is when the stator is uh, with uh, the rotor on the other side. Uh, now the stator is outside the motor, so it might give a different magnetic field. However, I will measure it in different directions, so you will hit, get an idea. So first of all, let's begin with uh, the magnetic field of the magnet. So I will power it on. You see, good view and the probe okay i will put it in gauss because there's two units 10000 gauss is one tesla okay so i will measure and use the small chip here and put it really close to the magnets uh, the wire is difficult to manipulate okay good you see already i'm supposed to have about uh when i'm really close about 3300 something like that on the center of the magnet if i move on the edge between two magnets it's about 3000 4000 and as i move to the center of one of the magnet it dropped to 3200 and you see the negative sign if i go on the opposite it just change in about the same value you see center of the magnet edges here this is the well it's difficult because it's really sensitive at this place so it's about between 3000 and 4000 depending it changed the scale okay now time to measure at 10 amp per phase i will only power one set of phase using the power supply so i'll power it on Okay, and to give you an idea, I will put the current on the maximum while the uh, lead are shorted. This is 10 amps, and it's exactly 10 amps. I will use this one. I will zero it away from the magnetic field. Okay, and measure. You see, I have less negative 10 amp, exactly 10.0, depending on the position. Okay, so for 10 amp, what kind of magnetic field we have on the rotor? Okay, it's difficult with one hand, as usual, to manipulate everything. Sorry for the view sometime. Okay, on the green and let's say the blue. And we have 10 amp and 0 volt connected and let's see what kind of I will try to put it somewhere where you can see it while I go on the magnet so it's supposed to have a DC magnetic field 
quit then I look. Oh, it's about 100. I'll try to be closer. 120. For 10 amp. 137. 140. And right here there is less magnetic field. But on the edges, just like on the image that you saw, it's maximum magnetic field. Because of the T shape here. So I can say that for 10 amp, this motor, this is the uh, winding, if I remember correctly, this is the 4 turn, so it's the 9.07 kV motor, it's 4 turn per, uh, per tooth, it gives 140 for the maxim, ma magnetic field. Okay, so this gives you a good idea of what kind of magnetic field I can get with 10 amp on a Q5, Q205 uh, uh, 50H, 50mm wide, and uh, with a 4 turn. So this is the uh, higher speed version. Uh, it's not a KV of 9, sorry, it's a KV of 11.5, uh, I think, or 11 point something. So it's 4 turn. And uh, the KV of 9, like the other motor I have, is a uh, is, uh, uh, 4 turn. So this one, uh, it's a, f a 5 turn. This one is 4 turn. 4 turn, pretty sure, yeah, yeah, okay. It's 4 turn and a KV of 11 point something, close to 12. So 140 gauss per 10 amp at the edges of the uh, stereotope. Okay, so I hope uh, it uh, helped you to understand magnetic field on this kind of motor. If you have questions, if you even even if you want me to measure something else, a different current, different motor, uh, I'm open. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.